Hello there and welcome to a very exciting video by the MXQ project. My name's Matthew and finally we've achieved it. The MXQ retro gaming experience is here and without further delay I present to you See, that intro there brings back so many fond memories for me. The PlayStation 1 was one of my first consoles. So yeah, fantastic intro. I don't think anyone's matched it since Sony brought that out. But yeah, brilliant. Anyway, so this build has been specifically made for Kazax Libra Lek running 8.0.1 for the S805 and S905 and Logic processors. So which box is this going to work on? Well, we've done plenty of videos on installing LibreLeck onto devices, such as the S905 MXQ Pro. There's also many different variations of the S905 hardware. So if you've got it running your, in your box, whether that's dual boot or installed to internal, you can install this build onto the your version of LibreLeck. Just make sure it's running LibreLeck 8.0.1. As well as that, obviously, KZAX LibreLeck for the S805 logic processor on the MXQ all black so again you can dual boot this with LibreLeck and you can install this build onto it or if you've got it installed to internal I'd probably recommend going dual boot because the ROMs etc the game ROMs are going to take up a lot of space and in internal memory on these boxes isn't great so it's going to fill it up pretty quickly and you can buy pretty big SD cards so you know you've got plenty of space so this build is the latest version by the MSQ project. It's in, still in alpha phase, but it's, it works. It, there's a lot of parts of that work perfectly. There's a few tweaks that we still need to make to actually make it a you know proper release. But this brings us Emulation Station, which is a front end for RetroArch. It's a really nice interface that you can launch all your retro games from. It also brings us the latest cores for the S8 of 5 processor and the S9 of 5 processor as well. So major updates, makes games run smoother and everything just runs a lot better. As well as that, obviously, this is built now for the latest version of KZAX LibreLeck. So that's 8.0.1. That's the latest version of LibreLeck, which is running Kodi 17.1. So the first part of this tutorial is really straightforward. All we're going to do is go and grab a tar file. And then we're going to go into LibreLeck and simply install it using the backup method. So let's move on to the first part. So once you've downloaded the zip file, all you've got to do is unzip it. So you're going to need an unzip tool, maybe something like 7-zip or something like that. I'm going to leave a link in the description. So the next thing we need to do is we need to pop that .tar file onto a USB memory stick or an SD card, whichever you've got, and then simply insert it into your LibreLeck device. Make sure, of course, it's running LibreLeck 8.0.1, and then we can move on to the next part. I'm going to show you how to go into LibreLeck and how to find the backup section. All we're going to do is click a few buttons and then it's going to install it.
So once Libra Rack has started to restore the build, it might actually take quite a while to finish. Don't worry too much about that, just leave it alone and it'll eventually restart. So with this system, you can actually use quite a diverse range of joypads, such as this Xbox 360 controller. This is actually just a cheap Chinese one and it works just fine. PS3 and an official Xbox 360 controller will also work, as well as a myriad of different ones. So the next part of this video is really just to give you a basic overview of the system. I'll also play a few games, etc. So hopefully you can give us some feedback on this system. We are really, really after it. There's lots that are really good with it, but there's lots of unknowns as well. So with your information, we can then improve it further on the next release. You can comment below on all that information. So until next time, guys, please come over to the Facebook group, the or you can visit our Facebook group or the forum.